Hi, I'm Jason from Resner Technical Services, and in this video I'm going to show you how to field convert this UDX C75 from standard combustion to a separated combustion unit using our SC1 option kit. Verify that you have the correct kit based off of the unit's model and size. Now that I've verified my components, I'm going to go ahead and put on my gas line grommet. If the unit is already installed, you will have to disconnect the gas line to put this grommet on. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver, twist the latch, open the door up, and on the inside of the door there is a door strap. You can just hand loosen the nut. Take the door strap off and then pull the door right out. Now with the door off, I can go ahead and put in the door switch. The door switch comes with a wire. So I'm going to take that wire and put it through this slot with the toggle facing down. I'm just going to go ahead and push that in. And I'm going to disconnect the red wire going to the R terminal on the thermostat strip. I'm going to place that into the open connection on the door switch. Then I'm going to take the red wire that was on the door switch already and put it where the red wire was on the thermostat strip. Now we can take our combustion air inlet collar and gasketing and put them over top of the combustion air inlet on the back of the panel. So now we can prep our door. First thing we need to do is take off these little rubber bumpers, one around each corner. Just pop them off right with your thumb. And then we're going to take the gasketing and I'm just going to start by going around the bottom edge and keep it kind of right along the edge. And I want to try to keep these gaskets as tight as I can so that we are pulling our combustion air only from the combustion air inlet collar. And on this part of the door, we can add two gaskets. If we're not using all thread to hang the heater, then these three holes will need plugged up or any combination. Uh, there are bolts and washers that come with the kit. So we can go ahead and plug these holes up with those. There's a retaining nut underneath. Might have to push up on the retaining nut to get it to start to thread. But once it starts to thread, it'll go ahead and go in. So I'm just gonna set these in here. and then I'll crank them down. They don't need to be overly tight. Just need to be snug. All we're trying to do is fill those holes. Now that we're done with that, our last step is to put the door on. We can take the door tabs and put them into the face plate slots. Then we're gonna take the door strap. I'm gonna have the mesh facing up and then hand tighten the nut. I want to see that mesh facing up so that we don't kink any of the metal. And we can put on the door latch and this unit is ready for separated combustion. Now that we have this unit ready for separated combustion, we have to make sure that we're going to make use of either our CC2 or CC6 vent options, which come with the concentric box and vent termination kits. Thank you for watching.